Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss this question from weekly contest 179, problem number 1375, bulb switcher 3. So in this problem, actually they are given a series of bulbs and the bulb can be in three states of on and blue. So initially all bulbs are off and then we switch on any bulb in, and we switch on bulbs in this order. So we first switch on second bulb, then first bulb and so on. But if we turn on any bulb, it will turn on to be yellow. But if all the bulbs before it, including that bulb is on, then all the bulbs will turn to be blue. Okay. So when the second bulb will be turned on, it will be yellow. But when the first bulb will be turned on, the one and two both are turned on. So both will be blue. Then when we turn on 3, all the consecutive are turned on, so they will be blue. Then we turn on 5, so this is 5, uh, so it is yellow. But when we turn on 4, it all will turn on to be blue. Okay, so in this series, there are 3 instances. This instance, this instance and at this instance, when all the bulbs which are on are only blue. In this instance, Though there are some bulbs turned on to be blue, but there is also one bulb turned out to be yellow. But there are three instances in which all the bulbs are yellow, sorry, blue. So we have to print out how many instances will be there in which the cases that only blue bulbs are turned on. Okay. So to see this example, we will do some logical reasoning. So I have written down the same example here. So what we do is, we can see the second bulb will be turned on first and then the first bulb will be turned on. So as, as we can see, so when all the previous bulbs including this bulb is turned on, the at that instance only all the bulbs will be blue. So how can you find out that whether all the bulbs before it are on? we can find out the sum and sum can be find out in constant time using a formula n into n plus 1 divided by 2 or at an instant we are traveling to the array so we can keep track of the total sum and we can also do the total sum of the given numbers so what i'm saying is i'll tell you with this example we can use this formula or we can track it while traveling to the array. Okay. So first we turn out. So there can be two sums. Sum and total. Let's assume we are taking these two variables. Sum and total. So I'm just writing tot, tot. Okay, cool. So the total sum for the first case is 1. But we have turned on the bulb 2. Then we turned on the bulb 1. So, so the total will be, we will be adding at each step this value. So it will be 3. And we will be also adding this value. So 1 plus 2, 3. So yeah, both will be 3, 3. So it means that all the bulbs before including 2 are on. Because the sum will only define that all the bulbs before it are on then we turn on third but third bulb so we add this to this so it turned out to be six and we turned one plus two plus three it turned out to be six okay then we turn out plus five so it turned out to be eleven and we we add four here so it turned out to be ten so these are not equal but when we add 4 it will become 15 and when we add 10 plus 5 it will all because it will all also become 15 so now this case is also all blue so i hope you understand this logic you can rewind this video and see what i have done so that's the pretty much the same logic i have done doing here I'm taking two variables 
long long total and sum and then what i'm doing is i'm iterating over the array and to taking the sum of this this sum and then light sum this is the index sum because we're going from 0 to n that's why i'm adding one so it means we are adding one two three and total means we are adding the light i values i hope you understand this logic so if these two are equal we are incrementing the count of answer and then finally we are printing the answer that's a simple logic used in this code i hope you understand the logic if you have any doubts please mention down in the comment box i will try to rectify it as soon as possible thank you for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one